failure sometimes known as congestive heart failure occurs when your heart muscle doesn't pump enough blood as well as it should certain conditions such as narrowed arteries in your heart that is your coronary artery disease or high bp gradually uh, leave your heart too weak or stiff to fill the pump efficiently the symptoms of heart failure are shortness of breath that is dyspnea that is when you exert yourself or when you lie down fatigue and weakness swelling edema in your legs ankles and feet rapid or irregular heartbeat reduced ability to exercise persistent cough or wheezing with white or pink blood tinged phlegm increased need to urinate at night swelling of your abdomen which is called as ascites lack of appetite and nausea difficulty in concentrating or decreased alertness sudden severe shortness of breath and coughing up of pink foamy mucus chest pain this also occurs when heart failure is caused by a heart attack the causes for heart failure are it usually develops after other conditions have damaged or weakened your heart however the heart doesn't need to be weakened to cause heart failure it can also occur if the heart becomes stiff in heart failure the main pumping chambers of your heart that is the ventricles may become stiff and not fill properly between beats in some cases of heart failure your heart muscles may become damaged and weakened and the ventricles stretch that is dilate to the point that the heart can't pump can't pump blood efficiently throughout your body over time the heart can no longer keep up with the normal demands placed on it to pump blood to the rest of the body an ejection fraction is an important measurement of how well your heart is pumping and it is used to help classify heart failure and guide its treatment in a healthy heart the ejection fraction is about 50% or higher meaning that more than half of the blood that fills up the ventricle is pumped out with each beat but heart failure can occur even with a normal ejection fraction this happens if the heart muscle becomes stiff from conditions such as high bp heart failure can involve the left ventricle or the right side which is the right ventricle or both sides of your heart or both the ventricles generally heart failure begins with the left side specifically the left ventricle which is your main pumping chamber there are different types of heart failure they are left sided heart failure right sided heart failure systolic heart failure and diastolic heart failure any of the following conditions can damage or weaken your heart and cause heart failure some of these can present without you knowing it coronary artery disease and heart attack this is the most common form of heart disease and the most common cause of heart failure the disease results from the build up of fatty deposits that is plaque in your arteries which reduce blood flow and can lead to heart attacks high blood pressure which is hypertension if your blood pressure is high over time the extra exertion can make your heart muscles too stiff or too weak to effectively pump blood faulty heart valves damage to the heart muscle which is called as cardiomyopathy heart muscles damage can have many causes including several diseases and infection alcohol abuse and the toxic effect of drugs such as cocaine or some drugs used for chemotherapy myocarditis and heart defects that you're born with that is your congenital heart defects abnormal heart rhythms may also cause your heart to be too fast and creating extra work for your heart other diseases such as diabetes hiv hypothyroidism hypothyroidism and a build up of iron which is called as hemochromatosis or protein called as amyloidosis also contribute to heart failure